outlet and outlet pressure, an increase in outlet pressure typically caused by regulator seat leakage. So the first thing we need to remember is that regulators are not a shutoff device. And as we have wear on the seat, or perhaps um, maybe some misalignment of pop it in the seat or so forth, you will have a little bit of that higher pressure seeping across the seat, raising pressure on the outlet side. So if you do need to have shutoff at or before your regulator, it's always best to install a valve before the regulator and not rely on the regulator itself as a shutoff device. Additionally, uh, having good filtration in your system is going to be important to keeping your seat healthy and minimizing creep and seat leakage. Which brings us to our second term. That drop off in pressure is called droop. So just to, to redefine it, droop is a decrease in outlet pressure caused by an increase in flow rate in a pressure reducing regulator. Now there's a few other terms that we want to talk about that will help understand what's going on with the regulators and maybe help you understand how regulators are acting in your system. The first term is lockup. And as you're decreasing flow, so on our flow curve you're going from right to left, as you get close to your zero flow condition, as you get close to that, that vertical axis on the left hand side of the graph, you'll see a sudden spike in pressure. And that's called lockup. The reverse of lockup is seat load drop. So as you're moving away from the zero flow condition, and you're moving towards the right on your flow curve, you start flowing through your regulator, you'll see an initial drop in pressure before the regulator stabilizes. So lockup and seat load drop are kind of the reverses of each other, depending on which direction you're going on your flow curve. But it's important to know that if you're trying to use your regulator too close to that axis, too close to the zero flow condition, you're going to have very sporadic performance. Your pressures are going to be erratic um, and jump pretty, pretty wildly up and down within the seat load drop or lockup range. Once you move beyond that, you should have more stable performance. So it's important when you're sizing a regulator to make sure you're sizing yourself out into your normal flow range outside of that seat load drop and lockup area. 